Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some footies leaks that are making things confusing yet again because tomorrow's a brand new season. But are we still getting that team of the tournament promo that we thought we were getting? Or is it going to be footies? We have some answers to one of the biggest leaks that we've had in a while on this game. I want to talk about that, how the market is moving because of it, and the newest and freshest upgrades have just dropped for Path to Glory cards and some of the greats of the game icons. We got to look at that and the content that might be coming today with the leaks of the season in mind. Also, you may be noticing this is a completely different setup for the videos. We mentioned that last couple of days that we were going to be traveling and away. This video is being done on a massive 55 inch TV. I don't know if any of you guys play FIFA or FC24 on a TV. I'm usually playing on a monitor. It is a completely different experience, but I digress. Let's get into the content of the video get today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's look at yesterday's SBC content that we always start off with. We're going to go for the upgrade pack first, the 93 plus player pick, which we mentioned in yesterday's video, I was hoping was going to be just a simple refresh, including the team two of PTG. And that is exactly what it was the same price as well. Like honestly, no complaints, 87, 88 rated. You do need a two team of the season or team league players, which is slightly annoying, but it's doable. It's craftable. And I actually have it to open. I want to do this because we're not doing it on stream. I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I haven't opened any packs today. Let's see if I have good luck. Herstegen, Gonzalez. I mean, Gonzalez, that card's literally going to be coming five star, five star here in a matter of hours after Argentina have just won. Um, I guess I'm taking him because he's four play style pluses. Terstegen, I think he's the most expensive card too. That was a bit mid, to be completely honest. For the players that are in it, I still think that's a good player pick though. It's nice. To have a gamble pick like that on a Tuesday, it feels like you have a chance at getting something good. I know it doesn't include the icons in it. Fingers crossed that maybe today we get that icon pack that we had last week refreshed again because that was such a good SBC. But honestly, uh, the, eight, the 93 plus pick that was dropped that we just did, that one is worth doing. It is worth a shout, guys, for sure. It's worth a craft because like that's going to give you a chance at some of the best cards in the game at the moment. So why not? Now, that was the only piece of content yesterday until just a few hours after Spain beat France 2-1 to one and EA dropped an international stars Laporte SBC. This is the first international stars card. Remember in the video yesterday, we saw the card design added to the game and we were like, wait, what's going on here? Why is that card design showing in the search? This is why. I guess they were planning on dropping an international star of whoever won the game and Laporte since Spain won is that guy this is a 98,000 coin sbc guys this sbc is very good value very good value if you go and take a look at it over here on footbin 98,000 coins he has block plus bruiser jockey power header 96 defending honestly it's not that the card is super duper cracked it is just a fun sbc for a honestly a guy who's always fodder like when have you used laporte this year he's like literally always Fodder. He had one team of the week card, but other than that, nothing. This is a good SBC. I have no complaints uh, for the price, especially that it is, but more so what I like about this SBC is the idea that it kind of promotes, right? A country doing really well in the Euros reminds me of the World Cup, right? Remember when Argentina won the World Cup and we got that Di Maria SBC like right after and it was super cracked? I hope that EA continue with this type of content during these latter stages of the Euros and Copa America. Who knows, maybe we're gonna get an Argentinian Copa International Stars player SBC today early or at the content drop because of the 2-1 win Argentina over, or sorry, the 2-0 win Argentina over Canada. Maybe that's gonna happen, but regardless, I love this aspect of it. I would imagine that means today for the Netherlands versus England, we would be getting another one of these international stars as well. And since it's Copa and Euros, Maybe there's one coming, like I just mentioned, for the Argentinian game, and then also for Uruguay versus Colombia. So I love this. I think it's awesome. And usually this stuff is saved for the finals, but instead here they've done it for the semifinals. Love that even more. So that's a big GG for me. Number one for the price. Number two for a fun card and, and uh, honestly usable as well. Now, since this SBC is pretty cheap, guess what's dropping? Center backs. I was just trying to show you Marquinhos and I closed out of the tab. Marquinhos Tots moment is, is a, a team of the season card right now that is down crazy. He's down 53,000 coins 
literally, if you look at his graph, it is since this SBC dropped. And the SBC for Laporte dropped way late. I think it was like two hours after the game ended or maybe one hour after. So it was very late. A lot of you guys maybe hadn't even seen it. It was like a midnight UK release, which is pretty crazy, right? But that's why it's fun as well. It's just very random and fun. It's like a new card, new SBC for cheap. So watch out for those middle to lower tier budget center backs because they are definitely dropping as there is a new and fresh card out there that people are getting and wanting to use instead of maybe another center back that they had in their team. Now, we probably didn't even cover yet. The biggest thing of yesterday's content was that EA gave out, or is giving out, it's currently ongoing, they are giving out XP for playing games. Huge W. We've been asking for XP, catch-up time, boost sort of thing, and EA have given us that. If you're playing games right now, you maybe saw I had a retweet yesterday where I retweeted somebody who had played a game and they got 100 XP. I think it's like 75 to 100 XP per game right now you can get playing Rivals, playing Champs. I don't know about Squad Battles, I think. Maybe it depends a little bit on what game mode you're playing. But if you're playing, um, maybe your foot champs qualifiers, get those done early. If you're trying to get some XP, it puts the grind a little bit in your hands um, and gives you a little bit more control. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Like if you need a couple thousand more XP, that's a lot of games, right? Sure, maybe today on Wednesday, they'll drop one last piece of XP. Maybe not, but maybe they will. But at least you're a little bit now in control. And if you're, if let's say you're like level 33 and you just need like 2000 XP, you get your daily XP, you get your uh, weekly XP maybe finished up and whatever else is maybe outstanding. And then, you know, playing a few games, yes, it's going to be a bit of a grind, but it'll get you some of these next level end game cards that maybe you weren't thinking you were going to get before. So I love that. I love that addition. I think one more bonus objective for like maybe a couple thousand XP push would be nice too. But since today's the last day of the season, I honestly don't know if that's going to happen. Now, Let's talk about upgrades. We talked about the Euros games. We have cards that have gotten their five star, five star upgrades because of course that is what was due next for these players whose nation won the semi-final because that's the semi-final upgrade. Five star, five star, or a plus one. And of the nation that won, Spain and Argentina, None of the players are 5-5. Five, five. They're always, they're all 4-5, four, 5-4, five, five, four, whatever. They are not 5-5. Five, five. So there's no plus one overall. If France would have won, Griezmann would have gone up in rating, but he does not because they did not win. Instead, we have a 5-star, five 5-star five boost here on Danny Olmo, who's 347,000 coins. Pedri is dropping as well. Actually, Pedri's price compared to Danny Olmo's price now looks really, really interesting. Olmo did have a crazy spike yesterday. This card is really rare. And I remember investing in him early on and he was just, he just has like crazy rarity spikes. So GG's if you saw that crazy spike where he was over 400,000 coins. But if you take a look at Pedri, right? This has been the guy that everybody's been packing this week. For whatever reason, his pack weight seems to be higher. As per usual, guys, selling in the hype was the play. Uh, I guess selling in the hype of Spain going ahead and maybe scoring that second goal as well. He went a little bit higher there. He was 515K, spiked really quick to 590. And now he is down under 500,000 coins with a final match to play for Pedri and the other Spanish PTGs. Jesus Navas got five star, five star as well. It was all at Ferran Torres too. All of the Spanish PTGs got that five, five boost as they were deserving it. Now I do want to look at some of the other upgrades we had yesterday because some icons got upgraded since um, France scored a goal and they scored a goal from open play. Actually, we should mention, uh, Zidane, Vieira, Henri, Desai, and Trezeguet all got, um, the second boost. They got a plus one overall. Uh, actually, is that the first boost? No, that's the second boost, right? Wait, no, that's the, that's the first boost. Wow. These French cards, man, the upgrades were just not there. All right. That's why a lot of them dropped off so much earlier on. Yes. I'm remembering now it is the first boost only. They did not get the uh, 99 stat. Of course. It just got the plus one overall. But that is nice if you had Zidane, Vieira, Henri, Desai, or Trezeguet for sure. True, many gets a plus one and he finally gets the Make Your Mark Plus chemistry style. I believe that was for appearances that he got that. Nico Williams got his appearance plus one as well, going to a 97. And then Kolo Mani went from a 96 to a 97 as well. They're supposed to upgrade Casillas, but from what I've seen right now, he is not upgraded. Because Casillas, since Spain scored two goals, that would be two more goals to add to his tally, which would take him to four total. So he should be getting another 99 stat because this 99 reflexes was already at a 99 rating. So maybe handling, maybe positioning. Wow, if they gave him 99 positioning or 
probably going to give him diving. I don't know, but this is a car to watch out for because technically I think he's deserving of a 99 stat because uh, he already had one and they hit that four goal mark. So those are kind of the upgrades there. But again, we do have some upgrades pending, some skill move weak foot upgrades going to five star, five star for the Argentine cards. Uh, DePaul would be one of those for sure. It looks like he was, yeah, that, that uh, price that we just saw right there was incorrect. 1.4 mil is totally incorrect. He's 1.6. He did spike to 1.7. Still in the 1.6s and the 1.7 range there. I just like the whole market, guys. I don't love a lot of these cards at the moment. Selling in the hype yesterday for Julian Alvarez when he was like 650,000 coins plus was still the play. And I think that uh, that's continuing to be the play for sure on this game at the moment is selling all those live cards into the hype so that's the live upgrading scenario there those argentina upgrades are probably going to come out this morning and like i mentioned maybe we get an international star we will have to see now let's get to the business end of the video guys because you probably saw the footies leak that was twirling around that's the word we're going to use twirling around yesterday on twitter it was a 99 rated erling Barout holland footies card and you're like wait hold on a second nate let's talk about this leak let's look at it well here it is Erling Holland should come in the season pass this Thursday was the not the first leak but this was the second leak because he was leaked and then uh it was leaked he's gonna be in the season pass it also might not be a 99 I think it was leaked originally as a 99 who knows the rating it's probably gonna be 98 or 99 but it's in the season pass you guys know where he's gonna be in the season pass all the way at the end it probably reminds you of this card, like it does for me, it reminds me of the Vinny Jr. that we had last year at the very, very end of the season. I don't know how long it took people to get this Vinny, but it took a long time. It was a lot of XP because I believe that season was very, very long. And I think that if they're going to do a new season, uh, well, which they are, tomorrow is a brand new season. Um, I'm just really curious to know if it's going to go into like mid to late August and then they'll have like a preseason season heading into FC 25 and like the last couple weeks of FC 24. Maybe they do something along those lines, but if they're not going to, then it would legit be a two month long season or two months and one extra week on there to take us up until the start of FC 25. So that's uh, some questions that I have right now about this, but Holland is in the season pass. And again, like we are imagining, he's probably got to be one of the final, if not the actual final reward like the Vinny was. But again, this is just kind of, again, confusing things with the leaks at the moment because we have team of the tournament cards that we're unsure about that we don't know about for sure, except for the, the weekend league rewards that we think we know about, right? Based off of that pack code that was leaked yesterday. But in the same note, it's like, well, we're getting footies leaks and we have footies card designs added to the code. So what's really going to be happening? Guys, I think it is team of the tournament this Friday. Again, the pack code for me kind of trumps everything else, especially with that leak just coming out about Holland being in the season pass. I think it is like almost 100% for sure, certain that it's going to be the team of the tournament promo this Friday, but like how many footies cards are we actually gonna see in the season tomorrow? That's more of the question that I think I have. Um, it needs to be a big season tomorrow, right? If they're gonna start dropping the footies hype and the footies content, th those cards that they're dropping in the new season starting tomorrow, those have to be hype like a month and a half from now, you know, like Pushkas and Depay and those cards, Tony Cruz, they were hype a month and a half after they were dropped or a month after they were dropped because their cards were so good and they were even so crazy when we first saw them, right? That's the kind of levels we need to see today. I think that Holland needs to be a 99. I know it's 98 in the uh, prediction there, 99 in another one. I think he needs to be a 99 rated card to keep the hype going on this game for like the, the next couple of weeks, you know what I'm saying? And the, the fact that, that card's free as well, you love that. Of course, we're gonna have to grind XP again, that whole process and whole craft and everything, the chase will start once more. But I, I really think that could be end up being a W. But we're really still watching too, the weekend league rewards. I mean, we're talking about season stuff that's gonna happen tomorrow. And usually when the season's reset, I like to talk about stuff a day ahead of time, just because, you know, the season's reset such at an early time in the day for most of you guys on the Thursdays. It's like, well, if we talk about it on Thursdays, then 
it's basically already done. So I wanted to talk about it a bit more today. If you're going to play your champs playoffs and try to get some extra XP for matches, either get them all done today or do not play any of them until after the season resets. That is one thing I would tell you to do with champs playoffs, because if you're in the middle of them and the season resets, you will lose your progress. Also, Rivals rewards. Uh, we are going for the elite rewards here. I got to get a couple of games in. Don't know when I'm going to do that, but I got to get them in. Um, these would be the last rewards before you would get reset um, a couple divisions. I'm guessing they're going to take us down two divisions like they did last time. I think it was two, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was two. Maybe it was one. I think it was two, though. Um, so I would imagine that's going to be happening. So get those rivals wins in. I got to get four more wins, five more wins, actually, in the elite division, which is not going to be very fun. But the rewards could be fun. So we're going to watch the Rivals rewards maybe changing tomorrow and the Weekend League rewards. And really, I think, guys, for today, we just we got to watch for the leaks for the team of the tournament. Now, I'm going to check here again in the game. Do we have a team of the tournament card design? UEFA team of the tournament? I'm not seeing it, right? We have the still the international one here, the Euro International Stars, and we have the Copa International Stars. I'm not seeing anything related to team of the tournament, but I would have to imagine that we're going to be getting leaks of players that could be in it uh, again there's been concepts floating around twitter but i have not seen any really concrete leaks but it's all of that plus the fact that the footy stuff is coming it is really taking a toll and a number doing a number on the market man if we keep looking at some of these prices again like it's the icons man the so hyped icons from just a couple of days ago it seems i mean it was almost a week ago now but it's basically days remember when i thought zico was a good buy for 1.2 million coins and he went back up a little bit but now what is zico uh yeah the bros 900k flat that is mad that is crazy it just feels like nobody is buying cards at the moment and um that just seems like it's going to continue as well with what is upcoming content wise um, with these new season that is coming out, the cards will be able to chase from there. Just the fact that the footy design is going to be in the game, that's going to get people thinking about footies. And then more leagues coming for team and tournament cards. We've had kind of a slower week this week, right? I mean, let's be completely honest. The pack weight for PTG Team 2 and these re-releases has not been the best, but that makes me think that what could be coming after this would probably have a little bit more juice, be a little more interesting, Maybe be worth saving a few packs for if you're grinding the 86 doubles and not packing anything right now. Maybe maybe it is worth saving a little bit, but all of that hype kind of coming out and starting to form really makes me think that we could be in for some more prices dropping today on Wednesday. So again, I'm going to say be very, very careful. And as I'm saying this, I've just spent 2.1 million coins on Griezmann because this Griezmann has gone down like 2 million coins since France lost. But I thought, you know what, this Griezmann card, I think he's still worth 2 million coins. That's why I went out and picked him up. Speaking of French PTGs really fast, did any of you guys see Kamavinga yesterday on the market? He was extinct at 1.9. He still has not got a price range update. But Kamavinga was extinct at 1.9. He was listed after the game was over, all the way down to 1.5 million coins. And bro is back extinct again. As people said, nah, this card is still worth 1.9 mil with no upgrades. Now seeing the price of Griezmann, I think I disagree a little bit with Kamavinga, but he must be stupid rare because he is again really high rated and uh, pack weight on higher rated cards is always less. We know that. Um, but that Kamavinga card to me, I don't know. I mean, I thought he was going to be sitting on the market at like 1.5 to 1.7. I was... Maybe seeing him to look to see if he got in the sniped range of like 1.3s, but I didn't catch any of those there. Uh, but he is rebounding back up to an extinct price, which when this Griezmann's again, 2.1, 2.2, and that um, that Kamavinga's 1.9 extinct, I don't love it. So take the sell there is what I would do at the 1.9 mil range, especially because they're not out of the tournament, but there's still some hype with that card there. Now, speaking of market, a little bit more. Wednesdays have been weak in league objective days. And I want to bring up something today because it's the end of the season, right? All these objectives are going away. The Brazil One Nation Champs grind, the overall reward player, the Mario Gomez card, the German wasn't that great. No more upgrades for him. They're out of the tournament, of course. They were out even like last week, like the day that he was dropped or the day after, right? It was kind of mid. It just didn't pan out that well. Now, here's the question today. Everybody's asking, hey, are they going to drop? a German weekend league requirement because that would be the schedule. Here's my hot take, guys. 
my hot take is they're not going to drop any One Nation Champs um, bonus. I hope I'm wrong, but it, maybe it was tied into the season because the season was all about the national teams and the players that are in here and then all the objectives in the SBCs and the cups that we were getting every week and the nation objectives. I think if they're going into season eight footies, I think that might go away and we may not have one of those objectives today. So if you have German cards, which I actually still have my full Krugs, which I should probably sell into the hype regardless, um, you might want to take a look at selling them into the hype. Because if we do get a German um, objective today, then these cards are probably going to go up. If we don't, then they're really, really going to tank because a lot of these are going to go down in value as people have invested in them. So just be careful with some of the German cards there. I wanted to mention that because I don't think they're going to drop one today. They could, but my hunch, my guess is that they won't. Now, there's still a couple other player species, and I guess we're not getting Taram now. That's the other question that I had, right? We did not see a... Uh, Marcus Taram SBC yesterday. He was leaked to come out as a France live card. And now he joins the list of other leaked SBC players like Sarmiento, Taram, and there was somebody else too that joined the list of leaked SBC players that are no longer live. Oh yeah, it was a Switzerland player. They're no longer live. So is it really worth EA putting those SBCs out? In my opinion, I don't think so. Um, but you know, we'll just see what they decide and we'll see what they do because there are two more days left of this PTG promo. And I was really surprised to not see a player SBC yesterday, but then after seeing the Laporte, it makes sense. So maybe we won't get those other PTG SBCs and EA is going to replace those with the Copa America and the Euros international stars. I'm super down for that. If they drop good cards, decent ratings, they basically keep doing what they did with the uh, international stars Laporte. And we will be there for some more of those dropping today on this game. So yeah, player SBC, a bit up in the air. Uh, I think the icon, or not the icon, the hero player pick refreshes today as well. That's usually a Wednesday refreshing SBC. And then, like we mentioned uh, in the earlier part of the video too, guys, last Wednesday was a crazy upgrade pack. Great to the game, team two guaranteed. The guaranteed icon pack for an 84 and an 85 rated squad for all those crazy icons that were out. If they just re-release this SBC, like they re-released the 93 plus player pick yesterday, we would love that. That would give us another chance at some of those big boy icons. Even though their prices are lower, this SBC would still be great value because it'd be super duper easy to craft. And those icons are crazy. So I'm hope I'm I'm hoping that I'm wrong about the XP. I hope that they drop XP today. I hope that they drop a one nation weekend league as well to just spice it up a little bit in the weekend league. Honestly, I hope that I'm wrong. But I'm guessing that they're not gonna do that. And I really don't know what they're going to do one day before the new season. Content-wise, it might just be some more days of quiet market dropping. Maybe some leaks, though. Maybe some leaks if we see team and tournament cards start to come to the forefront, which I actually think on a Wednesday, two days before they would probably be coming out into packs. Seems very, very possible. So that's the video for me today, guys. We will drop in tomorrow with another upload, looking at whatever content comes today watching for leaks, watching for maybe more footies cards released in the season, and looking out for more upgrades and a big game between Netherlands, England, and then of course, Colombia and Uruguay later on. A lot of upgrades on the on the, uh, the docket for tonight's games as well. But if you enjoyed today's upload, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the Count. See you there. Peace. Out.